Hello, my name is Kathy Carilla. I'm a shop owner in Franklin, Tennessee, and I'm also an AQS instructor. Today I would like to give you some, a tip on machine quilting. The first tip I'm going to give you is the fact that when you set up your workspace, you need to make sure that your quilt does not fall off anywhere onto the floor or off the side of your table. You want it all up so that when you're free motion machine quilting, it will not drag on the needle. My tip today is I, I like to use uh, gloves that have little grippies on it so that the fabric uh, moves better under the machine. Today I would like to give you a tip on free motion machine quilting. My tip for today is that you need to pull your bobbin thread up to the top above the surface of the quilt so that you can hold on to both threads when you begin your free motion machine quilting. And how you do that is you lower your pressure foot, you do your needle down, needle up, and that pops up the thread very nicely so that you're going to be able to begin to free motion. Today my tip for free motion is to do rest stops when you are working on your quilt. What you're going to do is when you start out, you want to make sure that you rest at certain spots, and that's at points. So you're going to pull your bobbin thread up to the top here and grab a hold of your threads and then you're going to quilt from this point over to here and then you're going to rest. Then you're going to come up over to here all the way around and you're going to rest at this point. What that does is it allows you to catch your breath or uh, think about how you're going to come all the way over to this point until you have the next rest stop. So always make sure that you stop at rest on certain areas where you can.